Back in June, we broke the story about a black mom in Atlanta slammed to the ground and arrested by county marshals before she could get dressed. Go in the bathroom and get dressed! Who you fucking Get up! Get up! Things went left after they arrived to serve an eviction at her boyfriend's apartment. She says that when she went to go put clothes on, officials manhandled and arrested her. Now the Shade Room has the full body camera video detailing exactly what went down. I'm Justin Carter. This is a TSR Investigates update. Howie Marshall's here for an eviction. Just you in here? And your kids? Just you and your kids in there? Yeah. Okay, so we're coming for an eviction, okay? Huh? We're coming, we're coming for an eviction today. Oh, for an eviction? Eviction, yeah. So what's going to happen is we're going we're gonna to ask that you get dressed real quick, uh, get the baby dressed up. In December of 2021, Jamana Baskerville said that she was alone with her daughter inside of her boyfriend's apartment when several all-male Fulton County Marshals showed up at the door to evict them. The body camera footage shows Baskerville getting visibly upset as time went on. She says that she called her boyfriend, who was at work. The apartment was in his name, and she claims that she had no idea he was being evicted. The cops here, and they said, we, we getting evicted right now. They telling me to put clothes on, and they kicking me and Autumn out the house right now. Right now. So you need to come back here right now. They got hella people out in the hallway. They about to take everything out the house. You need to come right now. She walks to a bedroom and then slams the door after agreeing to put some clothes on. Don't close the door. Now? I'm putting clothes on and I'm naked. Right, so obviously, you're I'm, not naked. I am go, naked. Go, I do want to see. Go in the bathroom and get dressed. Who you talking to? Get up. 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 Get down Get up. She's screaming in pain, telling marshals that they're breaking her arm. Her four-year-old daughter in another room, watching the whole thing play out. That hurts! breaking hurt. my arm! You should be shaming yourself. You should be shaming yourself. I'm going to jail. I don't have no You're going to jail. That hurts. Let me close my mouth. Close it. They attempt to put jeans on her. They didn't fit. They belonged to her boyfriend. It was obvious that I didn't have clothes on. I had the robe on, it was tied. Once you body slammed me, you seen that I was naked. And then it's just the fact that like, it was just humiliating. And it was kind of violating that for him to put my pants on for me. I don't know if it would have been better if a female did it, but I didn't need nobody to put my pants on for me. Like I was trying to do that. Another marshal attempts to calm Baskerville down, assuring her that if she would have followed orders, this would not have happened. If you listen, if you don't listen to what Papa Lover gave you instructions, you won't be where you are now. You're gonna be fine. You won't be going where you're going now. Come on, don't give up. Don't give up, all right? Don't give up. Her boyfriend arrives to retrieve their daughter. He spoke to the arresting marshal who claimed that it was Baskerville who was the aggressor. It's different if she would have just been talking, whatever, but she, she decided to fight two, two grown ass men who got kids the same way you got kids. After, 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 after she closed the door in my face, no. That's it. Baskerville was checked out by EMTs for her arm and taken to the Fulton County Jail. As soon as I talked to the, you know, the judge and the prosecutors, they immediately dropped it. There's always people out there that say, hey, listen, if Jemana would have, you know, complied and would have, you know, been quiet and would have did what they were, did what she was supposed to do, maybe she wouldn't have been in this circumstance. What is your response to that? I always like to ask that. I feel like I, I I did do what they asked me to do because he told me to go get dressed. He didn't tell me where to get dressed at. 
the my first instinct was to go in the bedroom and get dressed. Records show that Baskerville's boyfriend owed about $1,600 in back rent before the marshal's office arrived to serve that eviction. Now in the body camera footage, you can also hear him say that he was aware of the eviction, but he was just waiting on a court date, which was never given. Now, according to a spokesperson for the marshal's office, they say that no policies were broken in this case, and they hope that by releasing this footage, it sheds more light on what happened that day. For TSR Investigates Updates, I'm Justin Carter. Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.